Why hello everybody, I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for clicking this video, I appreciate it. Um, today I'm going to be showing y'all the new Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. Not to be mistaken with her regular face contour palette, this one is an eyeshadow palette. Um, I will have swatches at the very end, if you want to see the swatches go in the description below and I'll have a time for when that starts. So. Anyway, I'm going to be talking a bit about it first. This one right here, I, I was really excited for it to come out because I just don't really have very many all matte eyeshadow palettes. So I saw this one and I was like, ooh, this one looks great. They're nice and neutral-ish colors. So I was like, this, this will be a good matte, like, everyday palette. So I got it yesterday. I saw online that, um, that some Sephora stores had it in stock. So I was like, Jacob, call every Sephora nearby and see where it's at and maybe you can get it on your way home from work. I have this phobia of calling people. I don't know why. I just can't do it. So my sweet darling did it for me and he found it. He went and grabbed it for me on the way home from work and I was so excited. And after playing with it, I was even more excited. Anyway, here is the um, palette. This is um, what it looks like. I guess here's the box in case any of y'all are wondering about that. It looks pretty much the same. And on the back of it, it shows the layout of everything. And then you open it up and it comes with the palette, of course. If not, I would cry and be pretty upset. <laughs> and then it comes with this little chart and it shows you how you can do different things with the palette. It's really cool um, the way that it's set up here. We have, we have a mirror here, by the way. It's one and then three underneath it. So this section right here, these are the neutral shades, it, the neutral quad, it says. Here is the cool quad, and here is the warm quad. So it goes with just about any skin tone, you know, because it has neutral, warm, and cool in there. It covers all the bases. And the way it works, the top one here is the base color. This one is the contour. This one is define. And then this one is the highlighter. So it's laid out the same way on each little section. So I thought that was really neat. This is really good, I think, especially for beginners who don't really know what to do. This is just paired up for you and it's so easy to just, you know, what do I do? You look at the sheet and it'll show you just what to do. The way it's laid out makes it so simple. And these aren't really scary colors either. So another, another pro for beginners and stuff and um, so the sheet here like I said it shows you how to do different things if you want to define your eyes then it shows you what you can do um, if you want to lift your eyes which is the shape that I always do and it's you know goes like that it shows you what to do and then if you want to balance your eyes like if you either want to make it look like they're closer together or far further apart it shows you how to do that too so it covers all the bases I think it's really neat palette and um, you know if you're not really looking to do any of that you can just throw some shades together and just create looks that you want with it so I thought that was really neat um, when playing with it I noticed that the um, the colors are so smooth um, you know, with some matte palettes, the lesser quality palettes, you you get it, you swatch it or whatever, and it's real um, dusty and crumbly, like the color doesn't stick. It just, you swatch it and it falls right off. These are great. They go right into the skin. They melt right in. They're easy to blend. They're just really pigmented and beautiful, and I there were no misses in this palette at all. They all worked wonderfully. So I'm really, really excited about that. I, I think this one it was definitely money well spent. It's always kind of a bummer whenever you like throw almost $50 on a palette and there are a few shades that are just kind of like, nah. Like I think her last palette, the one that was released around Christmas time, I heard there are quite a few duds in that one. So um, I'm excited that this one was formulated really well. The, um, the names are not written on this side of the palette, but like her other palettes, if you turn it around, it's right there so you will never forget the names. Like the first chocolate bar palette and some of the Tarte palettes, they would come with the plastic thingies and who keeps those around? They get lost. I'm usually good about keeping stuff together but mine just ended up who knows where. So that always kind of ticks me off because I just want to know the names. <laughs> and the names in this one are really cool. It feels like I have a cauldron and I'm like making some sort of fancy potion or something. Lazarus, Ludwin, Shax, Latinus. I just made a mess. I just made a mess. I thought it would look cooler than it did. 
All right, this palette is $46. Like with other Kat Von D items, it is Sephora exclusive. Um, and like I said, as of now, it seems that it's only in select Sephora stores. I think Jacob called about four, about four different uh, locations around us and only one of them had it in and they only had it in the drawers too. They weren't even put out yet. So, um, so yeah, y'all might wanna call around if y'all are interested in this and just see, and just see. <laughs> I have nothing but positives to say about this so I'll just go ahead and um, get into the swatches for you guys all right you ready all right guys forgive me if I mispronounce these they're crazy anyway here's the first one latus some mail soulless And Lucius. Now here is Lazarus. Salius. Shax. Liberatus. And for the last group, we have Ludwin. Succubus. Citri. And Latinus. All right, guys, now I am all swatched up. I look like a beautiful painting. <laughs> So um, what are your thoughts? Is this a hit? Is it a miss? Are you gonna grab it or not? I want to know all of your thoughts on this palette. Um, anyway, I hope that this little review and the swatches kind of helped your decision if you're on the fence or whatever. And um, if you did like this video, please thumbs up, please subscribe, please share, all that good stuff. And um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Kat Von D's tattoo liner and creating a wing there. I like to start off by doing the edge flick, going toward the center, and then from the inner corner, meet up in the middle. <laughs> I do the edge first and then I color it in as shown. <laughs> now I'm using my Make It Forever um, eyeshadow. I'm using the color D926, that purple there.